helping to reduce the costume. We're going to start with how you make the snake headband and you're going to need some 16 gauge wires, some snake print fabric. We bought about half a yard of this because we use it for the dress too. Some rhinestones and some needle and thread and some pins. So to begin, cut out a small piece of the snake fabric and fold it in half with the good side inside and pin it together. And then we're going to take some thread that matches the fabric and we're going to stitch this simple snake pattern, which looks something like this. So stitch up the one side and the head, kind of in a spoon shape, and then cut your thread and stitch up the other side. Make sure to leave about a one inch gap at the neck and go ahead and cut out your shape. Then take a pencil or some other similar skinny object and you're going to use this to flip your entire shape inside out. Next you're going to take your 16 gauge wire and cut a piece slightly longer than the size of your snake. And you can go ahead and bend the end of the wire so that the sharp edge doesn't rip your fabric. Next take a piece of batting and we're going to roll it together in a circular shape and we're going to insert it into that hole that we left open where the head would be. You can use your wire to help get that in there. Next take some more batting and we're going to roll this together into a snake shape. And using your hot glue we're just going to attach the one end to the wire and wrap the batting all the way around to coat the wire. And when you're done, you can go ahead and glue that into place at the bottom. And then just simply insert your coated wire into the snake. Make sure that the wire goes into the head as well when you're doing this. And then you can just take your matching thread and stitch up that one inch hole that we left open. Now we're just going to put some rhinestones on it. We used hot glue and just glued two black rhinestones where the eyes would go. When that's done, you're going to make about five more of them, that's how, what we recommend, two small, two medium, and two large. Next you're going to take your 16 gauge wire and measure around your head, and you're going to cut it with a little bit excess. And the amount excess that you cut, overlap that with super glue and glue the ends together. We use some pliers to help us hold it in place. You're going to lay out all of your snakes, um, how you think you would like to place them before you start securing them. We put the smaller ones at the top and the longer ones at the bottom. And you're just going to undo that part that you folded over and refold it and secure it onto the headband wire. Next you're going to pull the fabric tight over top of the bottom of the wire and you can just kind of fold one piece inside the other and take the extra flap and hot glue it. It's okay if this looks a little bit messy because it's going to be hidden in your hair. This also makes sure that the fabric is tight along the snake and that it doesn't really bunch. So repeat that process until you have all of them on. To wear this headpiece you're going to lift the top portion of your hair excluding your bangs, put the crown over top and tilt it towards the back of your head. You're then gonna let the hair flow over top of this. This works best with curly hair and you can bend and twist the snakes to blend in. To make the dress, take some black fabric that is one and a half times your size widthwise and tall enough to go from your shoulders seam to the ground. 
fold it up to your figure and see where you would like the waistline to be and you can fold it in half at this point. Lay the fabric out on the ground and make sure that each side is even using a measuring tape. Also we use the matte side of the fabric as the outside if you're a little confused. Next take a strong thread so that it doesn't break and do a very loose stitch all the way across. Remember we're not sewing the two pieces together, we're just doing a stitch where the fold line is. You can then go ahead and gather the fabric, wrap it around your waist and tie a knot in the thread where you would like the end of the fabric to be. At this point you can temporarily safety pin it into place while we work on the top half. Fold the top flap up to your side and we're going to cut a line down the side to match the already existing cut on the one side. You can get a friend to help you with this or if you're not comfortable feel free to take it off and cut this line on the floor. You'll now see that we have a front flap and a back flap. Carefully cut off the back flap leaving about 3 inches. You can tuck this back flap in once you put the dress on when you're actually wearing it. Now taking the front, we're going to fold it in half to find the middle and cut a line straight down the middle. You can get a friend to help you or take it off and do this on the floor. You can now either sew these two pieces together to create a halter or make straps like we did. To make the back straps, we're going to measure from our shoulder seam to where you would like the waist to sit plus a little extra. We're going to take our snakeskin fabric and cut out the length that we just measured plus um, about 4 inches wide. Next, we're going to put our good sides of our fabric down and these are the front panel with the back strap piece we just cut out. You're going to roll in the sides of the front panel fabric and do the same thing with the little strap pieces we just cut out. Next we're going to pin these pieces together, good sides together, and you're going to have to gather the panel fabric or the black fabric to fit in the width of the snakeskin fabric. So once you're done gathering and pinning, it'll look something like this, with the good sides together. You're then just going to simply sew along this line. When it's done, it'll look like this when you wear it. Now to get rid of our temporary safety pin, we're going to add some ties. So you're just going to take some extra scrap fabric and sew it to the front part of the dress and the back part of the dress along the top waistline where the fabric ends. If you're not comfortable with the large slit up the side, you can always sew this together except for about six inches from the top and once you close it you won't be able to see that there is a small hole there. Put on your dress to attach the back straps. I just got a friend to help me to put, pin them into the right position and add the right tightness. After pinning both straps into position, you can take off the dress. We should have pinned them on the inside, so I'm just fixing that here. And then you're just going to sew along the top waistband where the strap meets the waistband. Don't worry if it doesn't look very pretty because we're going to be covering it with a belt. And repeat this to both straps. To make the belt, we just took two long strips of our snakeskin fabric and stitched the ends together. We made our belt longer than we thought so that it could drape down the back and we also cut the ends on an angle so it would hang nicely. just tie it in the back. 
We added a small pin to the front of the dress so that the belt would create a point and help it hold everything together. Thanks so much for watching this video guys, we really hope you enjoyed it. If evil isn't your calling, make sure to check out our Greek goddess costume that we just filmed. Hope everyone has a wonderful Halloween, and be sure to check out our Halloween playlist for all of our other videos.